I suppose you could say most teens are better with, you know, technology stuff uh, than adults. Most adults. That's usually how it is. Yeah. And so there's a meme that's showing the frustration. Until now, they haven't officially been allowed to use some of the most popular apps on their own. Well, that's changing, Karen. Changing. Well, it's a lot of interesting discussion. Thank you, guys. Let's mm -hmm. talk about two big announcements, Venmo, so teen Venmo, and also a teen version of Uber, our tech expert, Anthony Mangaluzzo, to tell us what that's going to look like. Because there's a lot of good reasons to have these, and I think it's really helpful as well. Yeah. Let's start off with the money in the Venmo, because this was just announced. So who is this going to be for? So it's for teenagers, 13 to 17. And I think that, actually, this one is a good one, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to teach kids about money management. There are some limits on the account, uh, they could actually get a real physical debit card. Uh, Venmo's doing a great job in terms of limiting the amount of cash. I still think it's a little too high, 400 bucks, that's a lot of money. Uh, but you're really not going to get hurt, right? Well, I think it's good, and I only load mine, for example, my kids get like 10 or 20 bucks at a time, so you don't have to do 400 by any means, you don't particularly have to. if it's a debit card. Exactly. I only load as much as like their like immediate emergency money concern, going exactly. to the movie, they need to get lunch money. Um, so I think that's really interesting because if kids don't learn about money, which they frequently don't, right. then they don't learn about money. So that's a great one. Um, how about parents being able to monitor transactions? Uh, they could see everything. Uh, they could actually cut off different transactions. So there is there is no privacy for the children, which I think is a great thing. So they could see where the money's going. If they're going to maybe a store that they don't want them to or sending money to a person that they don't necessarily approve of. So that, that part is good. There is a lot of visibility. I think that's helpful because um, I just had kids that, you know, if they're buying candy, <laughs> I can say no yeah. to that one. And if they're, <laughs> if they're in desperate needs, they can certainly get it. The other one I think is really helpful for families is um, having a kid Uber because there's many scenarios where you have a non-driver, right. but they need to come home later at night and you have multiple kids and things. How does the teen Uber feature going to work? So really the same way as adult Uber, but the parents can create an app, or not an app, but an account. They can monitor up to five different teenagers, and there are some good features. So they could request an audio recording of the conversation with the Uber driver. They could see, just like we can right now, where they're going. Uh, they could also contact the Uber driver at any time to speak with them. The one thing I'm a little leery of, it says Uber support will be there. You know, you ever try to call one of these big tech companies? A little tough to get a hold of them, but as a parent with kids not quite there yet, this to me is absolutely terrifying because, you know, we're getting in the cars with strangers. There are self, there are background checks and things of that nature, but, you know, I can't imagine my 13-year-old daughter in four years from now jumping into some stranger's car. I think That's just a personal choice. I hear that one. I think it's going to be a personal choice for families. I think it's the age, how many friends. But they have to enter a code yes. specifically when they get in the car. Parents can track every single thing that happens. So this is not in Philly yet. It is in Select City starting, I think, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. And guess what? For As an adult, I have a pin. I took an Uber over here today. And ironically enough, I was talking to my Uber driver and told him, hey, you see any teens? He's like, oh. He's like, teens been doing this all the time. And that's the truth of it. So now we have a way that has better oversight, which I think is helpful and teaches them how to do it also for themselves. Yes, and they can't add stops now, too. So if they're on the adult app, they can add a stop. On the uh, teen app, no nope. McDonald's. One way, one no way. No running to, yeah, exactly. Thanks so much. We appreciate it, Anthony. Thank Great you. job as always.